Hello my fellow freaks, I'm your Dark Overlord, the Chaotic Freak, and first of all I know this video is going to be up late today, I am sorry, I forgot to record one last night, so this is what you're getting, I am very sorry. Um, I want to talk to you guys about uh, just some, some stuff that's going on with YouTube right now, uh, and a lot of YouTubers have made videos about this, including PewDiePie, and the only reason I actually thought to make a video is because I watched the video that PewDiePie made, and then I started talking with some people in the comments about it, and had some actually nice conversations with some really nice people. And then also one troll, which was annoying, but oh well. Uh, um, so basically, if you don't already know, YouTube has changed the requirements for becoming uh, an official YouTuber for getting YouTube partnership and getting monetization and whatnot. Uh, before, originally, for a long time, it was you need to get a thousand subscribers. That was what it was when I first started my channel. That's uh, how it was. Well, I, then I checked again a few months ago, and they, at some point they had changed it to where you need 10,000 views. Which to me seemed more difficult than the uh, than the 1,000 subscribers, but but uh, I figured you know what, gotta you know do whatever, you know just to uh, gotta roll with it. If it's a new challenge, it's a new challenge. Oh well. Uh, and apparently, according to people, the reason they did that was because of the ad apocalypse. Uh, ever since uh, all that stuff that the Wall Street Journal started doing to YouTube, YouTube has been trying to change and make it to where they don't seem as bad as Wall Street Journal tries to make them out to be. Which I don't really think YouTube is bad, but whatever. Well, now that all the stuff with Logan Paul came out, they decided to make even new restrictions. The restrictions now are you need 1,000 subscribers and 8,000 hours of watch, or not 8,000, sorry, 4,000 hours of watch time per year in order to actually make uh, a living off of YouTube, in order to get paid. Now, I still have 1,000 subscribers. I know I do not have 8,000 hours of watch time, even over the course of a year. But, I started really thinking about it, I was thinking, you know, the 9,000, 4,000 hours of watch time. Get together. Alright, so I was thinking about it, and uh, I make usually 20 to 30 minute videos. So let's say that I make, let's say that I constantly make videos that are exactly 30 minutes, constantly. And let's say that I make them every, once a day, 30 minutes. And let's say that I get one person that watches every one of these videos, but they watch it all the way through to the very end, from beginning to end. They watch exactly 30 minutes of my, of my channel every day. With that one viewer, that would make it uh, 8,000 videos uh, to be able to make a year in order to get paid. That's a lot of videos, but also when you think about it, that's also hardly any money. Apparently, 4,000 hours of watch time is like roughly $4 or something. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how the math on that works. I haven't, I, it's been a while since I've ever looked at the math on ads and, hours, and at watch time and stuff like that. But then, as, but then, understand that if you only get one view per video, that really isn't justified to get monetized in the first place. So then you start thinking about, well, what if you get 10 views per video? It's still not really what you expect a uh, monetized channel to get, but that's also 800 videos a year. It still seems kind of high, but not as bad. Uh, but again, that still requires 10 views a video, assuming they're watching it from beginning to end. That's still pretty small viewage. View viewership, I guess, would actually be a better term for that, not viewage. Whatever. Um, that, well, well, let's say you're getting 100 views a video. That would require you to make 80, vi 80 videos a year. That's more understandable on both on both fronts. If you're getting 1,000 views a video, that's 8 videos a year. If you're getting 10,000 views a video, that's 0.8 videos a year. Assuming there are always 30 minutes and everyone watches them from beginning to end, which isn't going to happen. But that's why you're supposed to get a thousand subscribers. That's why they want you to get ten thousand views. That's why it's eight. That's why it's four thousand hours of watch time per year, not uh, in total, because they want to make sure that you're actually getting uh, a viewership. You're actually getting people that are actually coming back to your channel, and watching you repeatedly. And you're actually getting a significant amount of people. Make sure that you're actually following the rules. Make sure that uh, you're actually doing what a channel is supposed to do. If if you're going to become a serious YouTuber, if you're actually going to get paid for it. So yeah. I don't really think it's that unreasonable, and yeah, it's more difficult than just getting 1,000 subscribers or more difficult than just getting 10,000 views, but it, it's just another challenge. In life, you're going to face challenges. It's how it's going to be. You're always going to have challenges you have to face. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm in college. I have to pass my classes. I have to learn. I have to participate. I have to do these computer science labs. I have to, be able to write programs. I have to do physics. I have to do other things. It, college is a challenge, but people pass college all the time. Even though college became progressively more difficult with each passing year, 
it gets more difficult because new knowledge comes out that then apply, but it's still everyone. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people still pass it. The percentage hasn't changed. I don't think that much over the last few years. I could be wrong though. Um, uh, but then, like, uh, I mean, I'm uh, being challenged by college. My sister's being challenged by being a stepmother. My uh, roommate is being challenged by playing a video game that he sucks at. <laughs> okay, maybe he doesn't suck at it. But, either way, life itself is a challenge. Wherever you get a job, that's going to be a challenge. Nothing is ever going to come easy. If you, expe if you expect everything to come easy, and then whenever there's a challenge, you can just quit and stop, you're never going to get anywhere in life. That's, just, that's, that's a fact. YouTube isn't uh, becoming the most difficult thing to handle on the planet. It's just, it's just acting the way everything in life does. It changes. It becomes a challenge. Things become more difficult. And yeah... That sucks for small YouTubers. Small YouTubers are going to have more, more trouble than they had before. But that doesn't mean they can't, uh, the, the, you know, they're just going to disappear off the face of the planet and die or anything like that. They're going to be fine if they just keep trying hard at it. And if they do really uh, feel that YouTube isn't having too much problems to handle, there are other platforms that you can use. There, there's Twitch, there's Mixer, there's uh, Vimeo, there's Daily, Daily Motion. I mean, I honestly know how uh, Vimeo and Dailymotion handle things, but I know how Twitch and Mixer do, and I don't think they're as easy to do as YouTube is, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't necessarily experiment with them. I mean, I, I make videos on uh, Mixer as, as well. I don't do them as much as I was before, but I'm going to get back into it. At some point, I'm probably going to do some stuff on Twitch as well. My point is, though, it's not like uh, YouTube changing the requirements for becoming a uh, monetized channel is the end of the world. It doesn't mean that you're never going to be able to make it as a YouTuber. It just means you got to keep trying. It just means you need to put some more effort into it. And I did see someone in the comments also say that uh, it has nothing to do with hard work. It has nothing to do with uh, good quality content at all. It's all about luck. And yeah, luck does ha does play a part in this. I will not lie. If You, you do need a little bit of luck. Y you do. Uh... I'm not saying that it's all going to be about luck, but if you think is if you have a lot of luck and you don't put in any work, you only put you only put in a little bit of work into your videos. Even with a lot of luck, you're not going to get anywhere. It's, that's that, that's all there is to it. If you have just a little bit of luck but a whole lot of hard work, you are going to be fine. That that's how that's how it works. That's how life works. Yes, luck does play a part, but work and effort and determination play a much bigger part in all of it. <clears throat> And uh, another thing, I know I've been talking a lot about monetization and stuff, but bottom line, the reason I made videos, I will not lie, I was hoping I would get paid at some point, I was hoping it would actually happen faster than it did. But, the thing is, I'm not making videos because I want to get paid for it one day. I'm making videos because I enjoy making videos. Yeah, it's difficult, and uh, balancing college and YouTube is actually more of a challenge than I thought it would be. But, honestly, it's not that I want to make money and I'm not making money off of YouTube. It's that I uh, enjoy making videos. That's that's all there is to it. If you enjoy what you're doing, then eventually uh, you, it, things are going to become better for you. you got to do what you love. you got to do it for the right reasons as well. If you're doing YouTube just because you think it's an easy way to make money, then you're not going to make it on YouTube. It, it's not going to work out for you. If you're doing YouTube because you enjoy uh, the interaction with the audience, you enjoy making content, you enjoy talking to people, you enjoy making videos, you're going to have a much better chance in all of this. That's that. That's really the core to it. You need to enjoy doing what you're doing. So yeah, I think that's all we had to say. Uh, this will be my second vlog that I've posted in 2018, actually. Really all around. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, second vlog. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not sure if I'm going to be doing a whole lot of vlogs. Uh, I would like to do vlogs only if I have some talk, talk about, like, this whole thing with YouTube that's going on. Um, I'm sure there are things I can't talk about, but we'll see. Uh, I was getting depressed the first time I was doing vlogs, but I don't know if that was actually the vlogs. I wonder if that was actually just everything else that was going on, because at that time when it was going through going through some depression. But now I'm doing much better. So who knows? Maybe doing vlogs now wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to try, uh, maybe not this week, because I've already posted uh, two vlogs this week, but uh, probably starting next Sunday, I might start doing vlogs every Sunday then. Um, not sure about that. I might, might not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy whatever videos come next. Excuse me. Whatever videos come next. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what's going on with my chest today or my stomach or whatever is going on. But yeah. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, then be sure to like it. Be sure to comment on it. Be sure to, if you, comment, if you have something to say anyway, 
I like I like hearing comments, I like talking to you guys. I love interacting with all of you. Uh, be sure to share this with everyone you know because that's that helps a lot actually. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm not, there's nothing to read over here. I just keep on looking over here while I'm thinking because looking at the microwave really makes me think for some reason. Huh. Anyway, also be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Mixer. There's links to both those in the box below, as well as a whole bunch of other links. Who is hammering out there? Why is there hammering going on? It was drilling this morning. Do you know what they're doing out there? I have no idea. It's been doing it all morning. It's annoying. It was, it was, it was giving me trouble sleeping throughout yeah. the morning. I was trying to sleep in until like, you know, 2 p.m. I woke up at like noon because of all this drilling. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. <laughs> anyway, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Mixer. There's links to both of those in the description box below, as well as a whole bunch of other links, including people that have been giving me art on my channel, uh, people who just helped me out with some stuff. Uh, yeah. With all and with all that being said, you now require you are now required to an absolutely fantastic day. You have no choice, and I will see all of you beautiful people in this video. Stay freak, everyone. Ciao.